Hello, everyone. Your beloved commander here of Seed Next Gen. Um, I need to talk about hashtag fix TF2. Now, if y'all don't know or didn't know, I played TF2 for literal oh, quite a couple of years. I jumped in right before the Jungle Inferno update. As y'all know, the Jungle Inferno update was plagued by, and I quote, bots, bot hosters. Cheaters, and even that of scammers. I can say right now that Valve is taking action in Team Fortress 2. And we'll all say an individual known as Zesty Jesus. I heard this guy is a complete asshole, but I can confirm that I can relate of the type of asshole he is. Because I think we're both kind of the same in that regard. When he's accused of being an asshole, he speaks the truth. It's a common misconception that those who constantly speak the truth about their passions and even that of their livelihoods are accused of being assholes. I've been accused of this as well. People call me an asshole because I tell the truth. I tell how it is. I expose the truth. This thoughts on people telling the truth are genuine assholes is that a more of a way for people to cope and even try to come off stronger than the person that's actually telling the truth while they tell the lies let's get back on point because this is still my feeling i put this on twitter slash x and well just take a look yeah yeah pain uh, uh, wait a minute not again! I won't y'all all leave. Good Good shot, shot, Mike. Mike. I ain't done. <laughs> oh, give me a second, I'll be back. It's in over. Oh. In the long run, that is still my feeling right now. But the valve has been taking action. What they've been doing is not a permanent fix. I believe that someone inside a valve or that a uh, contractor or they have just recently hired to deal with all this. Yes, it is true that they've arrested a couple of bot hosters. I can't help but feel he's singing like a stool pigeon. Or they are. To overall not be sent to jail and not go to court being sued. This is quite interesting. I guess putting uh you know legal bullshit in front of a hacker or, or even that of someone that's causing you trouble and they sing like a freaking stool pigeon. <laughs> Despite all this, this is not a permanent fix. But they are at least trying. I myself am not gonna play TF2 and make any TF2 purchases with Valve for at least I don't know, maybe another three to five months. Here's my reason. Valve has showed their incompetence as a developer for allowing this to happen for at least a good five to seven years after the Jungle Inferno update. They neglected to do anything. They neglected to hear out the people. I even reported multiple accounts, and Valve ignored these reports. I ended up reporting over 100 accounts for kicking me that were bot bots of snipers. Heck, I even remember, I played a map of one of the Christmas updates that is literally the bridge one, the one that is literally called... I can't remember what it's called, but basically, there it's kind of like Watergate, where uh, there's a bridge between two bases, and you gotta steal the intelligence. I think it was called Frozen Gate. I could be wrong, but despite this, my thoughts are, are and what I'm about to mention is in that match, I was dealing with snipers with that the battalion's backup. And even that of the cow mangler. 
the snipers were trying to get into the base to get the intelligence. I had a couple engineers with that of dispensers next to me and even that uh, of medics helping me out as I was just firing charge shots at the snipers. I called that cow mangler the vac hack cannon. I used to have another one called the Vac Hack Cannon 2.0. It was the living nightmare to bots. And I racked up on those quite the number of kills. I even put a sniper kill count art on both of them as they were both strange. Despite this, one of them had more than over 900 kills of snipers as I targeted bots. And another one had somewhere around over 500. Now, I will say this, despite what has happened, I don't think Valve is taking this really seriously. One thing is making a system that constantly bans the bots or hires someone temporarily. Another thing I would have to say is how do you fix TF2? How do you keep hackers and botters from ever plaguing the system ever again. This is where obviously they get an account, they go into the modding folders, and they implement certain code to certain functions, such as moving functions, such as, you know, with Sniper, of course, scope in functions and scope out. They mod the ease overall unique characters in game, to have these certain programs in the modding folders. I think Valve should lock away these modding folders with that of a Steam key. And even more so, only allow certain people that have great and powerful holds in the TF2 space as players to allow them to have these keys. I will have to say this, Maybe that's a little extreme, but I feel like it's what's needed right now for the state of Team Fortress 2. Locking the movement folders behind Steam keys, and even out of the ins, like the sniper, or scope in and scope out, and things such as crits, as Uber and crit, crit buckets are still a thing. Locking these moddable old folders behind Steam keys, I think will make valves gain a little bit safer i fully believe that uh, team fortress 2 would be more of a safer environment and it would be the proper way to make sure that these events never happen again i know modding is very important in team fortress 2 but sometimes certain mods shouldn't be modded at all this has been commander devin lionheart and my feelings on valve and the XTF2 movement. Thank y'all so much. I don't think I'll be playing Valve's Team Fortress 2 for at least another four to five months before I see certain things take place. And even more so, I don't think I'll buy things off the Steam Marketplace for Team Fortress 2 or even their own store. Just because they have to be held responsible for their neglect and crimes. I'm cutting off transmission.